this really feels like a community. We really take care of each other. We have a problem with kids not eating, we're going to take care of it. The mission of WIN is to provide healthy, delicious, nutritious meals to those who are in need, um, focusing on children. Some children in the elementary schools here on South Whidbey um, didn't have food on the weekends. Johnny and Dort are my two friends that um, love children and love, love good food. And I thought, what a perfect pairing. And I also thought, how fun would that be to get be able to get together with these ladies that I adore and make food for people that need it. Uh, I found out there were 64 homeless kids in the community. There wasn't one person I talked to that thought that was even possible on South Whidbey because it appears to be such an affluent community. It's really impossible to insulate yourself from the effects of poverty. Um, one hungry kid in a class affects the entire class. We couldn't have done what we did without Kathy yeah. believing in it and seeing the need that the food bank didn't fill this gap in food insecurity in the community. I think right from the beginning, we were committed to doing really good quality anything. In the summer of 2010, when we realized uh, how much we had grown and we would had a lot of support from the Good Cheer Food Bank, so that was when we really were encouraged to go out on our own. We try to be as environmentally friendly as possible. Um, we keep a list of you know what are the dirty dozen foods and we try to make sure that anything that, that's on that list is organic. We buy as much organic produce as possible and we try to be really conscious about our packaging. We're trying to hit a lot of different bases with these lunches. They're very nutritionally balanced. We were making 1,200 lunches a month. Uh, some were for the backpack program, some were for distribution. The Good Cheer Food Bank, uh, 10 of them would go down to the Good Cheer 2 in Clinton. We also have a refrigerator in Freeland, and then we continue to stock things at the South Whidbey Commons. It sort of holds people in the community, and so it's a great place for us to have our food available to the kids. We found that we've had a, a really easy time making partnerships within the community because people support what we're doing. We learned after we were initially preparing full meals is that some of it would be wasted. Kids who didn't like fruit or didn't like vegetables or sandwich would throw them away, and so we started creating an a la carte menu. They could just then take whatever it is they wanted to eat. It also gave them the dignity of deciding what they mm -hmm. wanted to eat. Mm -hmm. A young teenage boy came in on Sunday looking for a lunch and he was so grateful for all the food in there. He said that was the only food he had in his refrigerator. That's something that makes you sort of stand up short and say, really realize how lucky you are that you have a house and food because some of these kids are living in the woods or on their friends' couches or in cars because their home situations are too unbearable for them to stay in. One of the things we're really trying to do is make replicable programs that other communities could see how we're doing it and decide to adopt those. They are just residential fridges that are in public places and while that's worked here, we recognize that in larger cities you would never be able to say to a child, go to an unattended fridge and take food out. We figured that we could use vending machines set to distribute food without charge. So we started a backpack program where the parents sign up in September or August and for every child in their family they get two lunches. I mean, the kids are so excited they can't wait to dig into their bags on the way home from school. I hear a lot from parents what a difference that it makes on the weekends. We've been involved in the WIND project since 2007. It helps her understand what it's like to not have enough money to buy enough food. I have um, this opportunity to receive these wonderful nutritious lunches and it just feels like such a gift. I think all the volunteers feel really good about the work because they know what they're doing. The sandwiches they're making and the vegetables they're cutting are going directly to the kids that need it. And that it's soul food for us. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. for me mm -hmm. it's soul food. We have all different people who are who are responsible for all different parts of this lunch. We have a, um, a cadre of women who I think are the unsung heroes. And so the win lunches for me um, allow me to feel like I'm still a good mom. You know, even though I'm not, not well, you know, I can still, you know, I can still make sure that she has a good lunch. Where would the world be without people who like to feel good? 
it makes you feel good that you're making a difference. And because I'm a nutritionist and I'm Italian as well, I like to feed people. So when I'm feeding people, I'm the happiest. They are our community's kids. These are the next mm -hmm. generation. Mm -hmm. They are a big part of who we are mm -hmm. and we need to take responsibility for that and take care of them.